pediatric sarcoidosis. It is a multi-system disorder characterized by presence of non-caseating granulomatous inflammation. There are two types of pediatric sarcoidosis, the early onset form or Blau syndrome, which presents before the age of five years old, and the pediatric onset adult type sarcoidosis, which presents at later age and usually the clinical manifestations similar to the adult type sarcoidosis. Blau syndrome, it's due to genetic mutation, may occur either sporadic or familial and usually presents before the age of five years and it's characterized by triad of polyarthritis, uveitis and skin rash. Sarcoidosis is multi-system disorder with multi-system affections so its clinical presentations are variable. It includes constitutional manifestations in the form of fever, weight loss, loss of appetite, generalized lymphadenopathy, hepatosplenomegaly, cutaneous manifestation with variable types of rashes like papules, plaques, or nodules. Pulmonary involvement, it occurs in majority of cases. It may be asymptomatic and discovered accidentally during investigations for another cause, or may be symptomatic presented with cough and respiratory distress. It's characterized by diffuse micronodular pulmonary infiltrations and usually associated with hyalur lymphadenopathy. Ocular manifestation occurs in 25% of cases and mainly anterior uveitis which is asymptomatic or red eye or present with red eye and conjunctivitis. Neurological manifestation it is rare and may be a part of systemic sarcoidosis or as isolated neurosarcoidosis. Clinical presentations are variable, may include convulsions, diabetes and sepsis due to affection of pituitary gland, cranial neuropathy, cerebral mass with signs and symptoms of increased intracranial tension. Articular manifestation it's polyarthritis or polyarthralgia. Oligoarthritis may occur with uh, it's characterized by marked synovial hypertrophy. Cardiac manifestations, which include myocarditis and arrhythmia, renal manifestations, it's usually due to hypercalcemia, renal dysmay, and include renal dysfunction and hypertension. Investigations for a case of sarcoidosis, it includes laboratory investigations, radiological investigations, and biopsy, which is the gold standard for diagnosis. Laboratory investigations complete blood picture, which may show leukocytosis, acute phase reactants, which usually elevated ESR and C-reactive protein, liver functions, ALT and AST. It's usually affected either by the disease itself or by medications used for the treatment, kidney function test, serum, calcium, which usually elevated, and urine analysis, which may show hypercalcuria, serum angiotensin converting enzyme. It may help in diagnosis, but it is not specific for diagnosis, as most cases, serum angiotensin converting enzyme is normal. Radiological investigations, chest X-ray, high-resolution CT chest and CT brain in case of neurosarcoidosis, MRI brain in case of uh, neurosarcoidosis. Biopsy is a gold standard for diagnosis. It shows non-caseating granulomatous inflammation. Differential diagnosis include the malignancies as lymphoma, tuberculosis, autoimmune lymphoproliferative disorders, and immunodeficiency. Treatment of sarcoidosis is steroids to suppress, to suppress the inflammation and steroids uh, bearing medications as methotrexate or as a thioprene. Thank you.